Okay. Okay. So, Born Legacy. Um. Hmm. I'm gonna try to review this without comparing this to the other Born movies, mainly because this is supposed to be um, its own, its new series, because you know Matt Damon's not in it. And I know he's still like referenced in the movie. Okay. Before you even say, I know he's in the movie. This is called the Born Legacy. Like, it's about the effects of like the other three Born movies. Okay. But I'm I'm gonna be a little. I'm gonna I'm gonna review this as a movie on its own because that's actually how this movie feels like. It doesn't feel like a direct sequel at all. It just feels like they're they're trying to do something new, right? Because like in the last movie, you know, Jason Bourne is like he he's like he's still running, but it, he's like I you know this this movie is like it's trying to start it's trying to be its own thing, but it's like taking the backstory from the other three movies. It's more of a spin-off kind of thing. So anyways, I'm sorry. Um, this movie. <clears throat> um, if you want the short review, it was alright. I mean, like, it wasn't the best um, of the series at all. It's actually... Um, I liked 1 and 3 better than this one. I think I like this better than 2. Maybe I have to rewatch 2, but anyways... It's not a bad movie, okay? <clears throat> it's definitely... It was definitely entertaining. It's just... There was something missing to this movie that it that the Bourne movies had. It's missing something that... I, I had to think about it, and... Um, I think what this movie was missing was... Like... It was missing... Style, soul, whatever you call it. It just felt like a by-the-book, like action thriller whatever it it there's something to the jason Bourne movies like i don't know if it was the amnesia storyline or the act or the characters or whatever but there was something to the born the other three born movies that made it feel that made it like that made it stand out like there was something to this born character or there was something to this like um faceless or, or organization that like would have like different agents uh, trying to hunt Bourne down in each movie. There's something to it. Like, there's something, like, different enough that y you can tell that this is, like, Bourne, not just, um, you know, your standard, like, te techno action thriller, whatever. This movie, I just... It was missing that, like, something. It was missing... It, I didn't really... Like, uh, the actors did fine. Jeremy Renner did fine. Um, Rachel Wise did fine. All the actors did fine. But it... It's the writing that I'm a little, like, like, and that I'm criticizing. It's just, there was nothing to this Aaron character. It, I mean, like, they tried to do something, but he didn't really feel like, um, something on his own. He just felt like your standard protagonist in, like, this type, kind of movie. Also, his, the lead character, female character, the villains felt standard, uh, it... It, this is what really uh, lets me down, uh, uh, what I felt let down in Born Legacy. I mean, like, everything else is fine, actually. The action was fine. In fact, like, uh, the second half of the film when they're in the Philippines, that was actually a, a really good action scene. It, it was intense. I mean, uh, it was, it kind of ran on for a little, uh, for like, long, uh, for too long a bit. But... It didn't... The action was fine. It was just the writing. In fact, like... Like, it... Writing... Good writing will make anything feel big, okay? Like, no matter how small the action is, good writing will elevate it. I mean, that's something that, like, directors like Michael Bay have to learn. Good writing will make your action scenes bigger. It's like... No matter how big your action scene is, if the writing is good, it will always be bigger than the, the most, like... CGI filled explosive explosion fest okay and I kind of had the problem here it's like the action was good it's just the story leading up to this action scene was like okay I mean like the other action scenes were fine it's just the this is the final I'm this is, I'm talking about the final fight scene I mean, the final chase scene like the build-up was okay 
I mean, the main villain in this was like this hitman, government agent, whatever. Uh, apparently, he was like Jason Bourne perfected or something. And you didn't really see him throughout the movie. You just sort of see him like go in an airplane and then chase them. And it's like, uh, you're. It's kind of frustrating because like the villain, you you don't really feel. I mean, you feel threatened by him because he looks dangerous, but you don't really know his history, so you can't really be scared of him. And you're, and it actually just felt like I was in midway into the movie, like. After the la after this chasing would be over, I felt like there would be another like this was just building up to the final fight scene, and when that turned out to be the final fight scene, I was kind of let down. I mean, like, cause once again the writing, like, the the writing is both underwhelming and overwhelming at the same time too. Cause when it's underwhelming, it's underwhelming in terms of like villains and build up. It's overwhelming in terms of backstory. Like when they're trying to like tell the backstory about the the viral, uh, the the no, I'm sorry, the drugs and like all the this other stuff. You're like confused in the beginning, and it felt it, it at first it felt like oh I'm gonna get confused, but this is gonna I'm gonna like the movie's gonna tell us what's happening later on, and it does, but it it does it's slow. Like the story is confusing and like it leaves you confused for some time until it actually starts to pick up like later on it's it's not i'm not too mad it's just like the exposition could have been a little bit faster so that's that's my main problem with this movie like everything else is fine it's it's just the writing is like it's underwhelming and overwhelming like so basically i think i would give this movie like a B. I mean, like, the story's followable, I mean, but it's nothing new. I mean, like, everything else is fine, it's just, like, it could have been better if the writing was better. So, that's my take on The Born Legacy. Like, I'm not... I'm excited to see the, the sequel to this, alright? It it leaves it open enough for a sequel, and I, I like it. Um, but I, I expect the sequel to be, to be better. I mean, like, these are flaws that the Bourne series should not have because the Bourne series actually has a good story it's just this so it's it's bad when it's lacking you know so anyways whatever on a side note um the Philippines looks actually really nice I mean I mean yeah I know I'm, I know it it's it's a poor country but it's like they made it look nice I mean usually I was kind of worried because like um Whenever Hollywood does scenes in like a third world country, they they make it look like a third world country, like they focus on poor people. Here, it's just like it's it's a setting. I mean, that's what I was happy about. Like, they didn't really focus on like, oh, this is a poor country kind of thing, and these people are helpless and stuff, whatever. It they didn't really focus on that. It was just like they, it was a setting that they used for the story. You know, that was I was happy about that. And also the end scene uh, where they're on the boat and you're seeing the islands, it, it looked nice. I mean, like, um, I don't know, that was a that was a really nice shot at the end. But anyways, I'm I'm, I'm rambling. So anyways, Born Legacy could have been not really good, not really bad, kind of in the middle, B B-ish grade. So yeah, that's it.